He throws really well from the pocket when he's when uh, when he has it, and then when he has to escape, he's got a real knack. He's just a he's just knacks, you know, great peripheral vision or you know, sensation of knowing where the where to be in the pocket. Um, and then he's really good when he gets outside of the pocket too. Really dangerous uh, throwing on the run, seeing seeing the field or running himself. I mean, that's a it's a real weapon. But I think it's. He's uh, he's really growing and um, you know playing better and better every week. But um, it was players making plays today. That was uh, really what I saw. Um, starting with Shea, you know, guy just making plays. Gentry making plays. You know, finding the seams, you know, making the catches. Also uh, against the man-to-man -man coverage, you know, getting just enough separation and Shea. Uh, Putting the ball in the in the perfect location, and then Gentry making the catch. You know, it's highly contested. Uh, you know this that uh, you know really impressive. I thought Karan again did a great job. Devin Bush had a great game. Brandon Watson made plays. Um, it was that was really the theme throughout this game. Players really made the plays. Yeah, a lot of carries, Steve. Jim, I believe it was uh, the escape ability on the touchdown pass to, to Donovan. Where it, it just looked like that was extra special. Describe that play, the way you saw that play from Shea. Um, the one where he uh, did the Whirly yeah, Bird? Yeah. I love that. I love that. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a, you know, just a great instinctive play by Shea. And, uh, and then uh, getting the ball to Donovan. Donovan's making, I mean, continues to be that guy, too, that makes a lot of plays. <coughs> and uh, he did uh, just playing so hard. You know, he just plays so far. He plays so hard, and he has so much energy that uh, I, the ball finds energy. I think it, it seeks it. It's some, uh, there's something to that. But uh, that was a, I mean, a cool play. Just a great play. And uh, how about my guy, Ronnie Bell? Uh, making the tough catch across the middle. Takes, takes guys sometimes years, you know, sometimes half decades or decades to you know, really be able to have that kind of, you know, uh, fearlessness and and uh, ability to catch a ball over the middle and then not only catch it but then finish it uh, into the end zone. Uh, really like that. I think he's a good kid. Uh, really like him a lot. If you go to assess your, your pass protection, Jim. Good, really good. Um, you know, offensive line is, is playing well. Uh, Ed, Ed Warner is doing a heck of a job with the guys. Uh, I think they're all playing, you know, their best football. You know, starting with John Runyon, um, Ben Bredesen, Caesar Ruiz, Michael Winu, and uh, Juwan are all really playing their best football and they're playing well together. Coach, I'll to your right, Tom. Jim, it seems like uh, Jared Wayne was playing a more prominent role. He had the big first down catch last week against Northwestern and the touchdown draft today. Is his role expanding? Is, is it becoming some practice, or how is that evolving? Yeah, Jared. Uh, you know, great to see Jared make that play. That was uh, that was a big touchdown for us. The offense had a lot of a lot of critical drives in this game, starting with the 95 yarder. Uh, but you know, that drive was big. Answering after you know, Maryland had put their uh, their touchdown on the board and, and drove the field, um, and so that was that was big to get that touchdown back and keep it a three score, get it to a, back to a three score game. Uh, his role is expanding a lot because of Ben Mason, and Ben Mason's role is expanding. Um, so there's there's packages now that you're seeing where it's Ben and and a tailback and Jared playing fullback, um, and Jared does continues to go do a great job. Uh, in the special teams, but also he's got a good ability to block on uh, and versatile on third down as a back and pass protection, and and, uh, and he can run the ball too. So uh, it's nice having those you know, the, that set in the backfield. We can have uh, Mason and Wangler in there together. Coach, over your left, John. Coach, they had uh, 87 total yards through three quarters. Can you yeah. talk about your, your defensive effort that uh, allowed, that contributed to pulling away? Yeah, it was, uh, it was really, uh, 
an epic defensive performance, uh, you know, and we got a little thin toward the end of the game, but uh, it was it's great, great, great job, great performance. And this is a Maryland team has a has a very potent running game, and uh, uh, could see what they did to Texas. And, uh, we'd seen it on tape. That a lot of misdirection, you know, a lot of uh, eye distraction, and and, and ability to to uh, open up seams. A lot of long runs, uh, and we didn't we didn't give those up today. Uh, thought we played them as well as anybody who's faced them. Uh, 